Hey, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. It is Friday, June 19th, and I am crossing things on my to-do list and sitting down here and updating all of my lovely friends and family back home is one of them. So I won't actually show you my list because it's a little bit embarrassing, but I'll just do it real fast. There it is. And so, very excited I'll be able to mark this off here in a second. Um, let's see, the last time that I uh, posted on here was the day that Trent came, which was on, like, June 4th, maybe? No, 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 no. It had to have been before that. It was May. <laughs> it was May when... Trent came here. Oh my god. So basically Trent came and we had a great um, few days. We did uh, lots of fun like New York stuff and I, I posted a lot of pictures and I'm sure some of you saw. Um, got into a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I mean not really. Um, we had a good time. He had a good trip here I think. And then Literally two days later, I flew back to Texas for graduation um, to see all my my precious kiddos walk across that stage, uh, and that was something that was really really important to me. Um, so I did that. Got to work Project Grad with my good buddy Chris Cowart, and that was our sixth year doing that together. Um, you know, as we do this. Um, like big money trivia thing and I basically just hand out cash to kids all night and anyways we we tried to really like hook up um you know our friends um from our people from church and whatnot and anyways that was just um it was a great trip it was super super quick I literally I like flew in on late Thursday night and then did graduations all day Friday project grad Saturday um Oh, gosh, can't even like think about it. But then um, Sunday was Stephanie's shower, and then, then I literally flew out on Monday. And then as soon as I landed in New York, um, which was a huge debacle, I'm not even going to get into that because it'll just get me all stirred up. Um, but like we'll just say my flight was the timing was changed five times within like two hours of my flight. It was a disaster. I made it to New York, but not till like 1 o'clock in the morning. And my suitcase didn't make it with me. And I had to be on set at 5.30. And I didn't make it home to my apartment until 2.30. So that was just a mess. Uh, and then I worked. That was last Tuesday. Is that last Tuesday? Today's Friday, so not like this past Tuesday, but the Tuesday before that. And then I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I've done three different commercials um, in the last two weeks. One, which was like epic, and for all of you who are my friends on Snapchat, you saw like I wasn't allowed to take any pictures or video, and it was so frustrating um so you saw like my blue screen because they literally I would get to set I'd have to check in get my like fancy name badge and my wristband and then they would tape this thing over my like my front facing camera and like my other like my real camera um <laughs> so that was really more like a movie than it was a commercial to be honest I mean it was seven days and we basically had like three to five company moves every day, um, which is a lot. We were all over the city shooting a lot in Chinatown and um, up by the park and um, over on the west side and anyways. I've been working like a crazy person, but that's good because <laughs> I need to pad up that bank account since I'm coming to Texas for basically a month. <laughs> Um, in four days. So, uh, that of course, as many of you know, is for like basically the wedding extravaganza of the year. Um, I'm earning my, my badges, uh, or dresses rather, <laughs> so I can do the sequel to 20...
so I <laughs> can't even just ignore that. My phone's on the other side of the room. Um, it's like the longest texting tone ever. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, um, I'm trying to be in the sequel of 27 Dresses, um, so we'll see how that works out. But I'm really, really pumped to come home. Uh, got so many people that I want to see and so many things that I want to do. And I know I've been home a lot. Like, I know that. And I know that I moved to New York, and a lot of you are like, why are you always in Texas? But, you know, like, my people are important to me, and if... I can be there for them, then I want to make that happen. So, um, you know, a lot of my trips, like, over the last couple of months have been quick little just weekend things, you know, to surprise my mom for Mother's Day or to be there for graduation and Stephanie's shower and to be there for, you know, Easter and Allison's engagement and stuff like that. Like, those things are important to me, and I'm just so thankful that I've been able to travel and be a part of all those things. And I know that the next month is going to be crazy and wild and super exhausting, but I'm so, so excited to be there for Becca's big day and for Stephanie's big day and for Brittany's big day. Like, how crazy is that, that, you know, all my best friends are doing this huge thing um, this year. I'm just, I'm so happy for them, and I'm so happy that I get to be a part of it. Um, and so I literally, I'll fly into Texas on Monday, and then Becca's wedding is um, this coming week, a week from... <laughs> Oh, God, he's going to kill me for that. Um, Becca's wedding is a week from today. And we're going to have a really good time. I um, There's no doubt in my mind about that. Um, Rachel is in town from Italy, and so I'm going to get to see her. And um, there's just going to be a lot of good stuff happening. A lot of good stuff. Um... I cannot believe that it's almost the end of June. You know, my time here has flown by so quickly. And I'm, gosh, I'm so, I'm just so overwhelmed and thankful, uh, you know, for this, this year so far. Um, you know, just being here in New York and all the things that I've learned and, uh, Things I've learned about myself, things I've learned about um, the film industry, uh, so much. I'm I'm just so thankful, uh, and I'm so thankful for you people, <laughs> my people who watch this, um, because I know you watch it because you love me and you care about me and you want to know what I'm doing and how I'm doing, and. So, thank you. I'm thankful for you. Uh, pretty soon, before I know it, uh, it's going to be October. And then, you know, my lease is up here on November 1st. And so then that's going to set a whole other thing in motion. Got decisions to make about that. And who knows? Who knows? Uh, let's see. What, what else, what else can I say? Um, oh my goodness. I mean, so much has happened since, you know, May 30th, the last time that I posted on here. I just can't even, I can't even, like, cover it all. Um. Oh well, hopefully I'll get to see a lot of you in person and we can catch up on things and I can find out how y'all are doing and what's going on in your life and um, you know, have a little 
just good normal time at home. Right now I'm about to um I'm gonna cross three at least three more things off my to-do list before the day is over. And uh then I gotta go meet Ostea because I haven't seen her since Trent was here. <laughs> And, you know, I'm about to be gone for a month, so I've been trying to squeeze in my time with Autumn and Ostea and um, all my people up here before I go home. Uh, oh, gosh, and I'm so nervous about leaving my apartment. Um, but Autumn's going to be here. She's going to be checking in on stuff. And oh, I mean, my back is kind of hurting. Um So, anyways, that's what I'm doing today, and then tomorrow and Sunday, I'm working on a TV show that I'm really excited about. Uh, all the jobs I've worked on the last two weeks have been really um, cool, kind of fun, either cool sets or cool crew or cool talent. Um, the the one that I had to, like, had all this super security, obviously I'm not allowed to talk about it. So you'll just have to ask me in person. Um, but I don't know if I can talk about the one this weekend. I mean, I'm sure I can, right? Eh, it's not like any of them are going to watch my blog anyways. Um, but we're going to be working on um, the show for HBO called um, This Week's News Tonight or Last Week's News Tonight with John Oliver, whatever it's called. Um, so if any of you watch that... While you're watching this Sunday, just know that the people that are working the cameras and the lighting and the sound, all of them have full bellies <laughs> because of me and Danielle. Um, we're going to do an omelet station and a fajita station for them on set on Sunday, so should be a blast. It's also supposed to rain here all weekend. Um, like, I'm kind of thinking that we maybe got a tropical storm bill. Uh, I don't know, because it's been raining here a lot the last um, two weeks. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Uh, yes, it's humid, but nothing compared to Houston. I mean, New Yorkers don't know nothing about humidity. So, But uh, all in all, things are good. I'm great. And I hope you are too. And like I've said a million times, I'm so thankful for you. And I can't wait to see all of you. I feel like half of my videos on here are me just saying, Oh, I'm so excited to go to Texas or I miss home. But I do. I miss home. I miss Texas a lot. You know. I, and that's okay. It's all right. It's a good thing. So, um... Oh, I've been on this, like, really good music kick the last two weeks. My iPod has been off the chain. Um, but I think the song... Mm, there's two songs that have been, like, playing in my head over and over and over the last two days. I've been listening to them on repeat. One of them is really depressing <laughs> but it has like such a beautiful melody and so I I love it um but it is it's it's kind of depressing um I mean it's just about mortality and stuff like that but um the other one it's a good song it's kind of old from it was in that movie uh Country Strong with Gwyneth Paltrow um like a couple years ago it's been one of those songs that, you know, in different times in my life, like, it means different things. And when I listened to it, and it kind of just, like, made, like, a comeback in the last couple of weeks. Uh, so I think I'm going to share that one with y'all. Um, I shared it with somebody the other day, and it's just, it's a really beautiful song, very simple melody, and... Um, the lyrics are so, like, on point, you know. Um, so, anyways, it's called Timing is Everything by Garrett Headland. 
I mean, it's not by Garrett Hedlund, but he sings it. Um, and his voice is, woof. <laughs> um, anyway, so go check that song out. Um, so, so much is going on, and yet, like, so much is not, I don't know, it's, time is so weird, right? Like, time has gone by so fast, but I feel like it hasn't. Like, I feel like I've been here for a really, really long time, and I don't know. Anyways, uh, yes, it's been f almost 16 minutes, so I definitely have to go. I uh, gotta cross those things off my <laughs> to-do list. Um, Y'all know. Oh, I'm not even going to show you my suitcases because they're packed. Yes, that's something that I got done early. I always procrastinate that, and I end up staying up the night before my flight, stuffing my suitcase, but that's impossible since I'm working, you know, up until my flight. Um, anyways, they're right over there, and I don't know if I'm going to get them shut. I've asked Autumn to come over and bring her scale so I can see, uh, make sure that they're under the weight limit for Southwest. Um, so y'all keep your fingers crossed for me that uh, I do okay on that. And that my suitcases make it to Houston because I don't know what I'll do if I have to go through that whole process again about tracking down my bags and having them brought to me. That's just nothing I'll wish on anybody. So. Uh, for a lot of you, I will see you in a few days, and then you will see me for a few weeks. And uh, hope you have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Go listen to my song, and don't forget to make good choices. Love y'all.